Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Beyond Blue. Last time we went and checked in on our whale some more, also met some hammerhead sharks. They're currently hanging out outside the sub here. They're like, we're going to eat you. Alright, so we have a message from Andre. Bad news. The drone we had tracking that intrusive noise, it's gone. Lost contact hours ago. I'll keep monitoring the hydrophones for that noise, but as of now, unless the drone resurfaces, that's all we've got. All right. Hey, Mirai. I assume you've heard that Andrea lost a drone. Yeah, bad break. Did we get any usable data from the drone before it went missing? You'll have to ask Andre. He hasn't given me an update. I think he's upset that I suggested we'd still have the drone if we used it for its original purpose. It's crazy that we only have one mapping drone. If this were a space mission, we would probably have a hundred. You sound a little frustrated. Is that with Andre or the drone situation? Both. Yeah, his passion can sometimes be overwhelming. I just wish he wasn't so cold with me. Just because I turned my prior research into a successful biotech business, not every company is evil. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Not every company is evil. Yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll go with that. If they get big enough, they are, though. Pharmaceuticals in particular always just feel like they're evil, though. I know. Those miners have him agitated. It's nothing personal. Hopefully that's true. <sighs> Was that a yawn? Did you get any sleep? Not really. Between the drone and staying up to chat with my daughter, I spent most of the night staring out of my cabin window at the moon. My grandmother loved to take me free diving in the moonlight. It was magical. It's like the whole ocean glows. Sounds like a fun grandmother. She was. Is. Uh, she's alive, but suffers from dementia. Sorry to hear that. Thanks. Nana moved in with us after our mom died. I was 12, Ren was 4. Are you and your sister close? Most of the time. It's complex right now, but yeah, definitely. Where is your daughter? She's at university in the UK. What is she studying? Pre-med. But she also has a passion for music. She has been playing in the same indie band for years. What's her music like? Hard to describe. I'm sure Sophie would love for you to check it out. I'll send you her latest single. Ooh. Isn't your sister also at university? My sister, uh, took a break for a few years. But she's back now. There's a story there. Not my business. She's had to deal with tough stuff. We both have. I just seem to have an easier time adjusting. Does she want your help? I don't think she wants her stuff to get in the way of my success. You sound like me talking about my daughter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, complex. Hmm. People are messy. That's why I study whales. <laughs> Speaking of which, I better get prepped for our next dive. Yeah. Catch you later. Yes, of course. That was a bit uh, rougher of a conversation than I imagined. Jeez. Well, we found out a lot about the characters from that. Irina has a daughter, we have a rocky relationship with our sister, she stopped going to school and is now going back to school again. But we also learned before that our sister is the one dealing with the situation with mom. Hi Mirai. Must be late there. That's okay. I'm on dive time. I showed Nana the highlights from your live stream. Yeah? Did she like the whales? Oh, it's hard to know. She did. Huff at the dolphins, though. <laughs> she used to read you that story every night. Yeah, you've told me that, but I don't really remember. Are you doing okay with her? Kind of. You do this better. Did you want to talk about next semester? Uh, when you get back, it's complex. You know, I can look at coming back earlier. That's crazy talk. Go speak to your whales. <laughs> Gonna try. Catch you later. Wow. 
I don't think it's really talked about how much she's... Oh, we unlocked a song. Good, we'll probably never hear it. <laughs> I don't think it's talked about enough, probably just how much Rin is dealing with. Day seven. About to enter the Twilight Zone. I'm following Andrea's family down to the Seamounts, where I hope to observe them hunting. Arena has been testing our samples and is worried about a harmful algal bloom being somewhere nearby, so I am to keep an eye out for that. Check. I'm also keeping an eye out for more turtles. I know they're out there. Ready to dive. This is still a really cool, I'm relaxing and okay. game. And we're streaming. Hello, everyone. Welcome, or welcome back. I'm diving near a sea mount region, also known as the Twilight Zone, because it is just beyond reach of the sun. And we'll be taking some questions live, so be nice. We'll also be testing a playback system to interact with whales. Okay, are they done talking? I think comb jelly. Hello, comb jelly. Apparently I've only seen two of you ever. Why oh, you look weird. You look like a cactus. Odd, uh, there's a sunfish. And yes, I am absolutely going to kind of just explore for a minute because, uh... Twilight Zone is some interesting stuff. I saw something hiding down here in this cave. Hello, Hammerhead. Oh, it's just another comb jelly. But what if I go further into the cave? Also, I can swim faster. Here we go. What is this? Huh. Some sort of, uh, spotlight? Did we put that here? Not sure. I'm kind of looking for another octopus. They like caves, don't they? I checked on the tag. It's in a cave. I wonder how it got in here. Oh, I think I just found one of the objectives I was going to get from the beacon by just exploring on my own. Weirdly enough. Oh, hey, buddy. What the? Right. An octopus. Uh, are you okay? Other than getting inked in front of a live global audience? You know, you might want to get that off you. It will probably attract predators. <laughs> oh, wonderful. No, come back, octopus. I specifically came into this cave because I wanted to scan you. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's just float around. There we go. Those are the two octopuses. Octopi I need. Damn it. it. It's always... I always default to saying octopuses instead of octopi, but no, that's not how you do it. What's that hiding up there? Hmm? I see you up there. Oh, crabs. Oh, those things look... Oh god, spider crabs. Yeah, those things are creepy. I don't like spider crabs. Those things... <laughs> <laughs> it's just really weird seeing something like that on the bottom of the ocean. Man, we must have some pretty impressive gear to be able to dive this deep. Of course, I'm not super, super familiar with how uh, diving works, but... Like, we don't have a tank, so... John Dory. It feels like it would be hard to dive this deep. Another spider crab. Get away from me, you weirdo. What is that? Is that one of our drones? Yeah, that is. Looks like there's another one up there. Okay, let's actually hit this thing now. Wanna hear something <clears throat> cool? So do I. I'm hoping that buoy can send a little message to our humpback friends. That's right. Andre is going to serenade some humpbacks. <laughs> well, not me, but using a song I generated from other recordings. Well, let's see if we can find ourselves some whales. Okay, so we got three little markers. The sensor alarm sounds like what I want to investigate first. I want to go over here and investigate the unknown creature. Ooh. Sounds interesting. Oh, Jelly? Hello, Jelly. 
I, I, the, the, like, weird drones just flying around and kind of chilling weirds me out. Oh, those fish are, their shadows are kind of glitchy. What is that? Another back turtle, Andre. And feasting on some moon jellies. That is odd. Is that the same one we saw before? Hmm. It looks bigger, but let me zoom scan it to be sure. Turtles eat, eat jellyfish? Do jellyfish even have any nutrients? I'm not quite sure how jellyfish work, to be completely honest. Like, would they would they have any nutritional value? Or enough to make it worth it, I wonder? Also, that's a ton of jellyfish. Alright, let's zoom scan you, buddy. So where's your mark? There it is. We can run the sample in the lab, but I am sure this is a different one. Do they typically travel together? Wouldn't it be surprising to find two this far off course? Yes, it would be. And yet, here they are. Welcome back, turtles. Enjoy your beautiful moon jellies. Okay, time to see if any humpbacks respond to our song. Jordan wants to know how you will know. Great question. If we have recorded him before, we'll see if the influence of our song affected his. Scientists believe whales from one region can influence the song of whales from another when they mix. Okay, I kind of just wanted to wait there for them to finish the dialogue before I scanned anything, because it might cancel some. Andre, we've recorded a song from this one before, right? We have. How quickly can you compare his two songs? Well, I need to wait for his song to complete at least one full cycle. And how long is that? Mm, 20 minutes, maybe more. Wow, that's a long, slow ballad. That is a long song. 20 minutes. Usually, as far as songs are concerned, four or five minutes are about as long as you can hold my interest in that one song. Unless it's just a crazy, crazy good one. Like, uh, Devil Trigger, for example, can hold my, uh, attention for longer. Hello. What the? Okay, that was creepy. I just saw a weird-looking head and Dana two squid. red eyes. It looks like they're hunting... Lanternfish. Well called, Arena. We'll make you a sea witch yet. I'm sorry, a, a what? Let's scan a few to pick up their hunting behavior. Here goes. <laughs> a sea witch? Did she think she said sea bitch? <laughs> said they're hunting... Oh. I got one more squid to scan. It's you. Scott so, from Denver wants to know if they eat each other. Some do. I think this one was upset he missed out on his prey. What eat each other? These? I've never actually seen the see these Dana octopus squids. They look weird. I mean, I assume these are a real thing. It's just weird, because they look like manta rays mixed with a squid. Which is just odd. So where are these lantern fish that they're supposedly hunting? Is it down here? No, there's just more creep-ass spider crabs. Okay, maybe we should just go back to the buoy. Maybe it'll point us to some lantern fish. Sounds like a good call. Alright, buoy. I am on my way. I always love the big pieces of coral and stuff that you see at the bottom of the ocean. It's just so cool. Aw, oh, more of these bastards. I don't like you. Go away. There's a similar enemy in Subnautica, and I hated that one too. They just kind of jump at you. In a very specific biome. It's the long legs. For sure. That's what makes them creepy as hell. Alrighty, what do we got? Anything? <laughs> okay, two alarms. That's it. Huh, I wonder if we're gonna find anything else about these illegal miners, as it were. Just activated your UV light. First of all, don't mess with my suit when I'm diving. Secondly, you spoiled my surprise. Swell sharks have developed 
biofluorescence to communicate with each other. Their eyes have special adaptations for the UV light. Now you can see what a swell shark sees. That's what I'm talking about. That's super cool. I, I have never heard of a swell shark. Also, where's your other mark? Back here on your tail? Fins? I feel like I've scanned this thing all over, but I don't see another... I'll oh, change change UV light. Okay. Change light to UV. Zoom scan while using white light. Okay. Where did it go, though? I gotta find out where it went. There it is. Okay. So, how do I change my light? So, perform zoom scan. Yeah, but how do I turn the light off? Oh, okay, there we go. Now it's red. <laughs> I don't really think that's going to change anything. So, white light. There we go. Now we can zoom scan. Right? Yeah. The human perspective. Wait, it still says using white light and UV scan patterns. I don't see another scan location though on this thing. Or does it just want me to scan two of the sharks? Is that all you want? Because I was looking for a second location on the shark, but no, okay, that's what it wants. Is that is that purple now? We in UV? That, yeah, there we go. Now we are. All right, so scan one more. There we go. Next, you can try the black light I installed in your sub. You did not. You did install it in your dorm room back in the day. Your wife showed me pictures. Well, uni was a good time. Oh, somebody was uh, growing the marijuana. I see. Nothing wrong with that, even though I don't smoke. Spider crab, spider crab, does whatever a spider crab does. Alrighty, so we have something else over here. I'm not sure what this is. I'm also going to turn off this UV light. I wonder what the red one is. Thermal? Maybe? Maybe that gives a shark vision? What is it saying is in here? here? Oh, one of our sperm whale tags must have fallen off. Andre, you really need better glue for these. I don't use glue. Yeah, I've already gotten that. I was about to say, this seems oddly familiar. Yeah, yeah, I've already gotten it. Cool. That's fine with me. And hello, big boy. Just went right into his mouth with the camera. Oh, wait, there's something else? Is it still telling me I haven't collected that? I've already collected that, damn it. The, like, little notification went away and then it came back. Okay, last boy of the dive. How are you feeling? Chances of suit holding out until the end of the dive? Good. Hope of seeing if our humpback song had any effect? Well... You know this, but for the viewers, science is not magic, it takes patience. I'd like to believe in a little magic. Okay, here we go. Something... All right, so we had some weird reading over here, but also we were getting some clicks from the whales. Whaley boys, what do you have to tell me? Where are you guys? Ugh. As long as as long as I don't see the anglerfish that were in um, the whale. outer wilds. Yes, it's hunting. First time we'll be able to document it with Andre's technology. All right, let's check you out. You're hunting. Do you have a special song for hunting? Yep, whale sonar. Do you have another spot to scan? You do. It's over here. Come on, come on. And then the buzz. I got it! Raj from Mumbai wants to know, what's the buzz? <laughs> I think he was making a joke. Got it. But what is the buzz? How is it used? We're not entirely sure, but definitely associated with being close to prey. This is just a warm-up. The real fun will come in the deep. 
Real fun will come in the deep. I wonder what he means by that. The whales even dive that low to eat? I thought all of the things that they kind of enjoyed were at like the middle tier. Oh wait, I went the completely wrong way. That's the stupid <laughs> waypoint that keeps throwing me off. Damn thing. How dare you. That sounds really similar to a creature in Subnautica. I wonder if Subnautica used like the sound of a real animal for one of their fake animals. I, I think I think it sounded like the gastropod things. They're like these weird elephant looking things that shoot out poison gas basically. These comb jellies just ominously floating. I don't, I don't like it, they're spooky. I'm always like, what is that? It's just this weird cylinder floating. It's always a damn comb jelly. Ooh, we are deep. Wait. Wait, where'd this thing go? Hello? There was supposed to be something over here? Oh, yeah, use zoom scan to look for tag, but on what? Uh, I didn't actually see what it was wanting me to zoom scan. Tag and bio sample. Oh, is it you guys? Oh, turtles. Andre. Andre. Well, there's no way these little ones are thousands of miles off course. Right, Andre? Give him a minute. Right. Let's scan a few of these to get their gender. There's a tiny tag here. Andre? We got some leather bags. In your babies. Chen from Shanghai wants to know why you care about their gender. Well, their sex is determined by the temperature of their nests. Warming beaches wiped out the turtles in this region. Believe in a little magic now, Andre? I may just start, but let me check on that tag first. So that's all the tags. We've got you, we've got you, we've got you. Did we get the one in front? We did not. Yeah, I think I still need to tag you, buddy. All right. Whoop, and we've got a new whale notification. And it is deep, like they said. <clears throat> Down in the twilight zone. Oh, wow. Glad we didn't miss this. Beautiful. Yeah, they must have been hunting down past the rift. I think we found our spot for our first deep dive. Mirai, check out that one closest to you. What's that on its skin? Not sure I can catch them. They're headed to the surface. It might just be a scrape from a ship strike. Yeah, let's hope that's all it is. Let's end it here. Well, that was a pretty cool dive. I like the... I like the deep dives. I like actually being able to dive deep without fearing for my life. I know it seems like Andre worries about everything. But I really understand where that comes from. Everyone's seen the pictures, but I can tell you it was really tough to be doing hands-on work when we were losing entire species. For me, it was the whales. But for Andre, it was the turtles. I stayed to help him. Several of the other scientists did as well. By then, only Andre's protected nests were the ones producing turtles in the region. And we all figured that the population was going to collapse, and eventually it did. But seeing this large man spend day after day carrying tiny turtles from the nest to the water, it inspired us to stay. I mean, coming back now, it feels like another world. Andre is not an angry man, Arena. He's just a man who gets angry when he sees people say it's too hard or that they don't care at all. Yeah. All right, there we go. I just had to come over here and cut the music. Let's see if we discovered anything new in our logs. Sperm whales. 
Science log. Anything new? The buzz, signs of distress. Image analysis of the of the distressed sperm whale is non is inconclusive. Worried about the declining size of Indra's family unit. Clearly there's a megalodon down there fighting these whales. Aha! Leatherback turtles. Leatherbacks thought to have been wiped out in this region. Buy a sample collected to obtain a genetic footprint and see if it might be related to the to one of the small remaining populations. Genetic footprint from first turtle does not match any known populations. Our animal compared the turtle's footprint to the first turtle to see if they're related. Could you guys be related? Babies! Buy a sample to determine sex and log genetic footprints. Age suggests the turtles may have been born on nesting beaches nearby. Alright, we got any new notifications? The John Dory. You look weird, brother. And... Silver Chimera? Where did I even see one of those? That looks creepy. Look at his black beady eyes. Okay. And the Octopus Squid. Yeah, I want to find out more about you. We don't really have any information about you, unfortunately. Even though we've we've gotten almost all of you, Swell Shark. How the Swell Shark looks to the primitive eye and how it looks to... yeah. So they're, they glow green like they're radiated. Scallop Shark. They get their name from their scallop-shaped head, indent in the middle. Hammerhead Sharks are known to sunbathe. They sit in shallow waters and their skin turns darker without them burning. And the octopus. The octopus can use its highly evolved eyes to detect both the color and intensity of light and use chromatophores to match the look of the seafloor. Here he is for first public inking. Great test of Andre's fancy suit. Yep, there she is getting inked. Alrighty. So, I guess we're going to go ahead and end this episode of Beyond Blue off here. That was dive 4. I believe there's 8 dives in the game, so this is going to be a pretty short little playthrough, but I thought it would be a neat game regardless, so... I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.